Hey, Natalie, my name is Krista, and you spoke with Will a day or so ago. And um, as promised, here's a custom screencast video for South Texas, te South Texas windows and roofing. Um, in this video, I'm going to cover three tips you can begin implementing to really see a huge boost in business and more clients coming through the door. If um, by the end of the video, you like what you've seen and you like what you've heard and you feel like we could help you out, um, then please feel free to reach out to us. If not, no harm, no foul whatsoever. Still feel free to take the tips I've provided you in this video today and use them and begin to implement them on your own to see more clients coming in and even see um, yourself outrank some of the competition in the area. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to be talking about content, citations, and backlinks, and I'll explain more in detail um, what those are as we go along and just try to lay it out um, as plainly as possible so it can be of, of value to you. So Content is everything here on the front page of your website. Um, that includes the words, of course, but it also includes the pictures and what the pictures are saved as and what's behind the pictures. Now, Google, they like to see around 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on your front page. That's plenty of space for you to let your potential clients know what your business is all about, but it is also provides plenty of space for something called keywords. Now, keywords and key phrases are just the words that potential clients use when searching in Google for your type of business and services, right? And so um, when you've got that 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on your front page and you're optimizing on keywords, it really makes your website um, perform more as a magnet that pulls those clients in and attracts them into your website, which is very valuable because, in essence, it's working smart, not necessarily hard. Um, and so I like to do, you know, a bit of compare and contrast. I'm not sure if you have heard of Phillips Roofing and Restoration or not, um, but they are also in the area. And so I wanted to check their word count in, um, in comparison to you guys since they are ranking pretty high online. And so I see that you guys currently have 787 words of content, and I can see they almost have 1,300. So something really um, practical and proactive I would highly encourage you to do is aim for that 1300 words begin capitalizing on more keywords and um and that'll set you on the path to outranking these guys and starting with content and so you'd be surprised at how much extra traffic you can bring in simply by doing that um second thing i want to talk about is something called citations now a citation is a business listing in an online directory so google is a directory yelp is a directory yellow pages is a directory and there are hundreds, if not thousands, more directories online. And I've typed in Corpus Christi Roofing here. And right here, if I scroll down, I see what's called the Google Map Pack. And underneath the Google Map Pack are those business listings, are citations. Um, here's why citations are important. It doesn't just provide more spaces for more people to find you online. Um, it's also important because the more citations you have, the higher up in this Google Map Pack you will appear. And so that's very important because these are the first businesses that potential clients see. And I'm not going to open up um, the tool we use for this right now just because I want to be mindful of time. But um, there's a tool we use called WhiteSpark, and it just shows how many citations you have. It shows the specific specific directories you're in. It shows how much Google trusts those direct those specific directories. And it also can show me the same information for any competitor that you want to beat out. Um, and so we would say, okay, in order to beat out um, Phillips Roofing and Restoration, for example, let's say they've got 50 citations, um, then you would need 50 citations and more. Third and final thing I want to cover is something called backlinks. Now, a backlink is an authoritative website or platform that is linking up with your website, and they are passing backlinks to your website. And in doing so, they are sharing their authority with Google with you. And so when I say authority, I just mean how much Google trusts you. Now, to measure this, I use a tool called AREFs. There are several other different tools out there, um, and, and they all show some of the same information. But I like AREFs the best because it is as close to Google Analytics as possible. And when it comes to something as pivotal um, to ranking your site as backlinks, I really don't like to take shots in the dark. And so uh, AREFs allows me to you know really work with precision and accuracy, right? Um, now... I, I see you guys here have 27 referring domains giving you 224 backlinks. Your domain rating on a scale of 1 to 100 is a 0 0.5 and your URL strength um, score 
on a scale of 1 to 100 is a 10. And so these two combined give us a pretty good idea of how much trust you currently have with Google. Um, Phillips Roofing and Restoration, of course, I had to see where they were too, and I see they have 49 referring domains, giving them 344 backlinks. I can see a domain rating of a 0 0.9 and a URL rating strength score of um, 26, and these are both, again, on a scale of 1 to 100. And so they are currently um, have um, more uh, backlinks and more domains than you guys, but as you begin to get more, you'll see this number climb up. And honestly, to be really frank with you, this is pretty low for the number of backlinks they have. And so we have a really good opportunity here to capitalize on some good backlinks, some good valid backlinks that are actually sharing their authority with you the way that they should. And we've got an opportunity to get our domain rating um, here, like uh, really sky high. Um, and like I said, it is uh, backlinks are a very key and pivotal part of ranking high online and bringing in more clients uh, to your website. So, um, yeah, thank you, Natalie, so much for your time. I hope this information has been insightful and helpful for you. And uh, we'll definitely be reaching back out to you. I would love to hear if it was of value to you. Um, so, yeah, thanks for your time. And we look forward to talking to you soon.